Rugby players are undeniably some of the most elite athletes out there. The game requires strength, speed, agility and endurance. To achieve and maintain this level of performance, these athletes need a huge amount of food. When it comes to food, rugby players don't mess about. And today, with the help of some professional rugby players, I'm going to be attempting an insane rugby cheat day. I can't even begin to think what the daily calories are going to be. Right, so let's get on to the first meal of the day. And this is something I've never tried before. So for this meal, I'm actually gonna choose what we're gonna eat and I need something for breakfast. And there's a Tim Hortons that's open like pretty close to me and I've never tried it before. And this is gonna be meal number one. Now, whilst I'm on the way as well, I have also got this strawberry kefir. Now, this isn't really part of the uh, cheat day, but this kefir drink is absolutely unreal. Hi, welcome to Tim's Wrap. This is what can I get for you today? Oh yeah, can I have a big breakfast wrap meal, please? Could I get a latte, please? That's everything, thank you. Thanks, thank you. Cheers. Let's see what this breakfast wrap's like. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Package is secured. All right, so this is my first time ever trying Tim Hortons. Breakfast wrap comes with a hash brown. So first, let's try the hash brown. To be honest, it looks a bit sad. Not very crispy at all. Uh, I don't know. It's not bad. It's not very crispy. It's quite soft on the inside, though. But what I do like about this hash brown is it's not that greasy. Like, you know when you get to McDonald's and you get hash brown and it's just, like, dunked in grease? This isn't that greasy, so this is pretty good. A little maple latte. You've got to start off the day with a coffee. Yeah, that coffee is shit. Yeah, that is dreadful. <laughs> oh, that is so disappointing. I was looking forward to a coffee. That's quite thin. It's like a, like a burrito. I have no idea what is in this, so let's give it a try. That's actually not bad at all. We've got a hash brown, bacon, sausage patty, folded egg, bit of cheese, ketchup. It reminds me of the McDonald's breakfast wrap. I don't know if they still do that, but meh, it's not too bad. First time at Tim Hortons. I don't think I'm going to be rushing to come back anytime soon. Overall, this breakfast rating, I'm going to have to give it a 6.2. Right, so that is meal number one done. And I'll see you guys in the next meal. This one is going to be good. Marley hits the gas. Big fan. Caden Murley. Caden Murley is one of the most talented wingers in the Premiership and is a Harlequins legend. Now, of course, we are best mates and we've met at the Harlequins end of season dinner. Still trying to figure out why I was there. But I asked Caden what his favourite cheat meal was and here's what he said. Right, so this meal, number two, we've got Caden Murley's favourite cheat meal. Now, he's told me to come to Five Guys and he's not mentioning about a bacon cheeseburger, a bacon cheese dog, fries, which if you know anything about Five Guys, you know how many fries we've got. And then also we've got to wash it down with a peanut butter milkshake. This is a lot of calories. How many, how many calories are contained in this? That is a, a big meal. Cajun fries, banging. Ooh, what do you think about that? That's not bad, actually. All of this to get down for meal two, and we've still got a lot more to eat today, so I am gonna be struggling. That's a hot dog gum, this peanut butter milkshake. I've never tried this one here. Oh, that is unreal. It's literally like Reese's milkshake. That is the last bite of the cheeseburger. We've made it through the fries and we've just got a little bit of the shake left as well. Flavour for tea, so many fries. An unnecessary amount of fries. That's why, Hayden, that is a massive meal. Who is eating that much at Five Guys? Just got the shake to finish off and then we'll go into meal number three. Now this one, you're all gonna know who this is. The winners of Love Island are... <laughs> Kai Fagan, the winner of Love Island 2023. Now, some of you also may know that he is a rugby player for Burnage Rugby Club up in Manchester. We have met a few times working with England Rugby, and it was only right that I asked him what his favourite cheat meal was. Right, so meal number three. We have got a doner kebab. Now, this was from Kai Fagan, who won Love Island, I think it was last year, but he also plays rugby. We've done a few videos together, we've been down to England, so he said to me his favourite cheat meal is a doner kebab, and we've also got something else to wash it down with afterwards, but first, let's get into this doner kebab. It's alright, it tastes like I should be really drunk at 4am eating this, but sober. I don't know why anyone would choose to eat this. Out of 10. 
6.1. If I was drunk, I'm sure this would be a 10 out of 10. Right, so that's meal three, number, meal number, my brain ain't working. That's meal three done, I've just got to wash it down with an Oreo shake. Second milkshake of the day. Five Guys was way better than this, but I can't lie, I love milkshakes. Any milkshake. This is actually fucking dead. You can see how watery it is. No thickness. Milkshake scale, four out of 10. You know when it's just passing through the straw? There's no, yeah. don't have to put any suction in. It's just like, it's like I'm just drinking a drink. Dead. Kerr. This is why he's starting the match. Danny Kerr. The first try. Danny Kerr, what a man. With over 87 England caps. Most recently, an insane performance in the 2023 Rugby World Cup. And his greatest achievement of meeting me and Jim Nan on several occasions. I asked Danny what his favourite cheat meal was and I wouldn't have expected anything less. Oh, and by the way, before I get into this meal, if I could ask you guys one favour, it's to go down, click that like button and make sure you are subscribed to this channel. I have been putting so much effort into these videos and I'm going to make sure we get consistent uploads every single week. So go down, click the subscribe and let's get into to the final meal. So it's pretty late and I have just picked up the last meal. All right, so this afternoon I've been to get a trim and I also went to rugby training, which felt absolutely dreadful. I had so much food in my stomach and I just felt so bloated. But we are on to the final meal of the day. Full fat can of Coke. I mean, to be fair, after rugby, I do always love a full fat can of Coke. A battered sausage. And finally, we have got good old English fish and chips. Look at that. I also haven't had fish and chips for absolutely ages. I can't even remember the last time I ate it. But Danny Care, I feel like this is something I could actually see Danny Care eating. Fish and chips as his cheat meal. Mmm. Dad, these are really nice. Dad is longingly watching me eat my fish and chips. Oh, I've ran out of ketchup. That is the only ketchup that I have. Like a little tiny sachet. Should have got curry sauce. Oh well. Battered sausage. Let's go. It does taste like it's been sat there for a couple of hours. extremely full. So from me and an insane rugby cheat day, I'll see you in the next video.